This is, um, yeah, this is Cheshire. So this line, let's see. This is this is ICB Intercity Bus Line 2, which is Chesham Bognor Regis Settle. We've already got passengers waiting. So I suppose I suppose we should start putting some but we should put stuff. We've already got five million ports. Let's let's get the buses on these lines. So that by the time we look round, we'll actually see some of the buses, which would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? So we want uh, we want Cheshunt and we want uh, Bognor Regis and we want Settle. Now, Settle, if you have a look at Settle, Settle is kind of on a frickin' built on a cliff. And uh, trying to get, trying to put the depot anywhere near this was just impossible. It would have done really horrible things to the roads. So, for this one, I've had to leave it outside. Now, where there's a couple of places where I've had to do that. And normally I've put it next to this, but this one I just left it out here because... Even even over here, I mean, I I could put it onto there, I suppose. I suppose that really that's what I should have done, but yeah, tricky, kind of tricky. Right, uh, let's go over and grab you, and then let's put some vehicles on. So we want um, now. What I want to do is I want to put five on one, two, three, four, five. I want to put five on Cheshunt. So this is, yeah, Cheshire Bogner. And then at the settle end, I want to put five on. So one, two, three, four, five. Set line all. Oh, come on. Set line all. Uh, Cheshire Bogner settle. And then in the middle, I want to put on ten vehicles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Set line. Boom. Alrighty, bosh, 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 and yeah, we can get rid of all of those as well. So, um, so where were we? Yeah, we were, we were back here in session. So yeah, I, yeah, I played around with the roads. Yeah, nothing too spectacular. Let's go and move on to uh, to Bognor Regis. Can I do anything clever around here? I don't think there was anything particularly clever in the town. Um, again, I put in a large bus stop, and again, it's um. It's all pretty uneven, so trying to put the depot in was was kind of difficult. So I ended up putting it opposite the bus station, which kind of worked. I and mean, it's kind of kind of cool, so like in the bus station and seeing the bus depot over there. I quite like that. So that's that. Um, should we let this? Let's, let's run this on at normal speed. Let the buses um, spread out. So that's uh, that's Bogner. Let's go to Settle. And of course, if we wanted to, we could ride the buses along here now. And this is pretty, it's pretty nice looking round here. We might have, well, we might have a little ride on a bus. Where's the, where's the, where are any of the buses? Oh, here they come. Here he comes. For, I don't know why, but for some reason this reminds me of Postman Pat. It's like, don't ask me why. Because, yeah, I suppose it's because it's called the post bus. Trolling along at 16 miles an hour. Postman Pat. Postman Pat. Now, I'm not going to ride on this for like a very long way. But. You, you start to see very quickly that this valley is actually really, really nice. Well worth spending some time decorating this. Oh, that reminds me. Um, I ended up in a bit of a debate with somebody about um, trees and tree lines. And he was extremely upset. Extremely upset that I had had the audacity to put trees uh, above the snow line. Um, but I actually sent him some pictures. Um, like, showing trees growing above the snow line. Um, but apparently that made like 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 visual proof made absolutely no impact on him, and he still thinks it's that there's, it's impossible, can't happen, um, which of course he can and does. Um, in fact, let's go over here quickly because I want to show you this because like when I was when I was doing this decorating over here, I didn't just like throw this stuff in. This went in with a great deal of thought. So, for example. Um, 
when I'm when I'm putting these things up above the um, the snow line, I mean the objective is to just to break this up so that it doesn't look like a straight like over here you can see, right? This is just a straight line and it looks terrible. Right? It really does look awful. Right? Whereas if you put some trees up and just like cross the line up and down, right? Then it looks natural. Right? So first of all, even just for artistic license, it's fair enough. But also, what I'm doing is I'm putting the trees into where there are like shaded or sheltered areas where trees might be able to survive. Um, and where the slopes are, are steep, um, then I'm not putting trees or, or, or very, very sparse. And also, I'm using the, um, the, the, the terrain colour. So, for example, where, like, where it's very, very light green, right, I tend to be like, fairly sparse with the trees. And then where it's dark green, then I'll put in a dense patch. Right? And it ends up with quite a natural look to it. Just, you can see, I've, I've picked out these kind of areas where it's sheltered by by a ridge line or something to just um, these little these, like a ridge line or a bowl and just put the trees in there and it looks so much better so much better I've spent so much time on the, I, I, I was just looking at something and, and to realize I've spent so much time messing around with the terrain just in tiny tiny little details that you'll never even notice just you know smoothing out little bits and just making it look a bit nicer right that's enough, enough, enough about the trees. Um, the, the simple fact is, that's how I'm going to do it, and it is what it is. Like, over here, like, we had this rocky bit here, right? So I left that. I didn't put any trees on there. Like, almost as if there'd been a rock slide or something. So you've got no trees around it. And, and when you look at it from, from a distance, right, it becomes a bit of a, bit of a feature. So I hope, I hope the majority of you kind of like what I'm doing with the trees. And if you've got got opinions, then, then let me know. Same here, right? So, on this on this side, I've gone like nice and dense with the trees. But then where we've got this this kind of thing here, I've left the trees out. And I, I told you before about like doing um, just conifers up on the upper slopes, and then as it gets down, to start to mix in some broad leaves, and then when you get down to the into the valleys, it's all broad leaves. So, so yeah, I've been spending, a, I've, I've been paying like a lot of attention to that. I was kind of miffed when somebody was like, eh, I don't like what you're doing. <laughs> I was like, I put like blood, sweat, and tears into doing that. I thought I was doing a good job. Yeah, but you know what? You can't please everyone. God, I'm learning that lesson. Right, so uh, we've done that line. So let's now have a look at the, um, the, the Maggle line. Um, what the hell am I trying to do? I'm, oh, I'm trying to click on. Maggle bus station and bring up the Maggle line. So let's pop you up there. Uh, shall I get? The, let's get the let's get the buses rolling. Look, I'm already up to 17 million. I'm only running it on slow. The, the money is flying in. Let's so let's have uh, Maggle Road Depot and Barking Road Depot and what do we want over here? Tavistock bus depot. So um, let's see at. Uh, uh, Maggle. Yeah, so Bark is the one in the middle. So we want um, five vehicles going on here. One, two, three, four, five. Which go on to Tavbar Mag. And then Tavistock, same thing. One, two, three, four, five. Go on to. Ah. Go on to Tavbar Mag. And then in the middle, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And set line all tap bar mag boom. Cool. Um, there's only one left to do, so you know what? I'm going to put the vehicles on there, so that by the time we get to it, we can see them running around. So we want um, Ashby, uh, Ashton, uh, West Ham, and Tewkesbury. So, again, we'll have one, two, three, four, five at the end. Set you on Tube West Ash Ash. 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five go on to that end. And then in the middle, we want ten on each. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Which are going to go on to there. And Ashton. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go on to there. Now, with a bit of luck, I should have a frequency on all of these lines of between two and three minutes. That's what I was aiming for. So let's see how I've done. So we've got a frequency of, yeah, just a fraction over two minutes, three minutes, just over two minutes, just over two minutes, three minutes. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. And it's going to be interesting to see how much money we make on these, because I'm guessing that they're probably going to make a fair amount. Like, I don't know, like a quarter of a million a piece or something, I would guess. Um, right, so we were having a look at um, Maggle, weren't we? Yeah, yeah, so what did I do with Maggle? Um, so yeah, again, I had to put the um, the depot opposite. Actually, I didn't have to put the depot opposite. I just decided to put the depot opposite because there was this this building with the fuel here, and I thought, yeah, I don't really want to change that. I think that, that kind of looks good next to this. Is this the is this the garage for for this? So he's just got the just got the depot opposite. Um, did I do anything cool with bridges and stuff? I, I really sh should kind of like follow the route properly for, for each of these. Uh, did I do any cool stuff along here? I didn't reconnect this. Just suppose, I suppose I could do. Oh, was this, oh, was this the one? No, it wasn't. Okay, there was one that was just a freaking nightmare. Uh, Let's put that in like that. Trim that back. Uh, let's try and let's try and leave those rocks in. All right, and we'll get rid of that bit. And yeah, so let's point it in that direction. And whoops. Crank it up and get rid of the ugliness. go. Um, did I do any cool bridges or anything around here? Don't think so. It's just that one. That was the only, only bridge I did in this area. I think most of the bridges are on the Chicksbury line. Alright, cool. So, let's get back up to Maggle. So, um, the Maggle line goes up here through the Boring Valley. God, this needs some decoration because it's really seriously boring. Now I did uh, I did reconnect that. Come on, what's that? End of year? No, yeah, maybe. Here go all the buses. When they get to their destinations, hopefully they'll space out nicely. We'll go and check and see what the spacing's like afterwards. Um, yeah, I put this in. Now, as far as um, like the upgrading the roads and whatever. If um, if we take a look at this, so if I look at what what you should find in all the towns is like every every road that I could upgrade to a large road is upgraded to a large road. So you, so here you can see the main route through Barking that's all upgraded to a large, right? Now here I I, I did this more in other places. Um, see I could upgrade this through some of these main roads. Um, most of the time what I've done is upgrade, like everything I can upgrade to a large road without knocking buildings down, I've done. And then the little roads in between, I've upgraded from small streets to medium. So you, you can't upgrade these to large. Uh, I could do that section. And I could probably do this section around here. Yeah. Bosh. But like those I can't, so then I'd switch to medium and then go around and upgrade all of these little kind of side streets to medium. And it takes a very long time to go around. Like I, I don't know how many cities I've done like. But 
yeah, it takes a long time. Um, especially when you like, you can't always do. It. And I've had so many where it's like construction not possible, and I've had to play around and tweak the roads, and it's yeah, it's very very, very very time consuming and fiddly. Okay, so um, so that's Barking Bus Station there, and again I've got a slightly different layout. There are our buses waiting, but they won't wait very long. Look at this. Got four people. You gonna go and get on a bus? Yep, he just jumped onto that. Oh, that one's full now. Harry Evans just jumped onto that bus. Yep, full. And off it trots. It's definitely nicer having the bus stations. Rather than just rather than just bus stops everywhere. And I think I think for the for the intercity buses, I think it's more appropriate anyway. Anyway, let's get on. Let's, let's just finish looking at this. So here we go down to Tavistock, which is the last one. And I put a, put a little tunnel under here for this bit of road. Um, oh, we've got, a, we've got a bridge over here. And again, I've like spent time trying to get the, uh, the pillars equidistant and stuff. Um, right, so that's that line. Right, let's hop over to the final line. So let's go up to Tewkesbury. And what do I want? I want the bus stop and bring that up so that we can see it. Get rid of that. Right, so here we go. So Tewkesbury. And placing these bus stations, I've tried to get like the best possible coverage in like the center of the town. Um, and also, you know, like trying to put in, like and here I've put in a large one because um, I'm probably going to be running some tram routes out from the centre. Uh, rather than putting in like like circuits, like I've done before, lots of circle routes, this is going to be lots of like individual routes. So there's probably, I don't know, there, could, there might be uh, a route coming down here, uh, a route going out this way, a route going out that way maybe. So that's why a lot of the time I've put in the large stations where I could, because um, uh, this will... will handle four routes whereas the the small one will only handle two but like i said when once we get to like 1950 i'll be changing it anyway because i've got other assets that i want to use as, uh, as stations right so uh let's follow this down so we're a quick whiz down to west ham across the tracks and again i have spent time trying to make sure that all of these are nice and level and even and it's not messing up the tracks and stuff Connecting all of these lines which were broken. Now I did play around with uh, with West Ham because originally the route went uh, down here and uh, like around the station. And um, yeah, this took a while to get right. But I love this bridge. And I nicely smoothed off the edges so that it doesn't look too horrible. But I think that is pretty sweet. And now I can't wait to like decorate the mountains, put some trees in, so that the damn thing actually looks nice. As you're riding the trains in and out of here, that's going to look very cool going under that bridge. So yeah, um, so West Ham, I did do a bit of tinkering about with the uh, with the road layout to kind of smooth it out a bit, and uh, upgraded all the roads, of course, and did all that. Are there any buses running around? Oh, here's the bus. Nobody on board. This is probably his first stop. You coming into you coming into West Ham? Yep, you're coming into West Ham bus station. We've got people waiting. Oh, we have. Three waiting to go to Ashton. Five waiting to go to Tewkesbury. Any balls? All aboard. Everybody hops on. Come on, Mrs. Woman, if you're catching this bus. She's like, no, I'm not. I'm going over here. I want to go the other way. All right, Mrs. Awkward. Uh, so let's go out this way. So there's my beautiful bridge. Love that. And then we whiz all along the river road. And I relayed quite a lot of this. Trying to make it all nice and fairly sensible, but also look natural and stuff. 
fly along here. And I, like, and I could have done so much more. Like, I could have smoothed off all of these little rough areas. I did a lot of them, but it just like takes so much. It takes so much time. Crazy amounts of time. Boom. All right. Now, I, like I said, I, I haven't put these bridges in because I'm not quite sure how I want to do them yet. Um, I'll have a little think about that and decide exactly. Like, like do I want to go... Do I just want to put little temporary bridges in? Like, um, just with small country roads and just like... Just, just like throw them in. Like, however the hell they'll go in. This one won't go in. No. Um, or do I want to put like proper permanent bridges in and spend some time and spend some cash and... My God, we're already up to 35 million. The money's flying in, absolutely. How much, how much are we making? Um, bum, bum, bum. Spent three million on new vehicles. So yeah, we're making about 22 million. Which is pretty peachy. So Ashton, anything special in Ashton? Not really, same. Different layout for the uh, for the bus station and the, and the depot, the depot alongside. Um, Oh yeah, I did play around with this a little bit. There was a road in here, originally. And I had the depot somewhere else. Um, there was a road here. And it was a, these are small roads. And the buses were, were, were cutting through here. So I actually put waypoints in here to get the road to go round where I've actually got a large road. Um, but in the end I thought, you know what, I'll just, I'll just take that road out and put the depot in there. And that kind of forces it anyway. So then I took the waypoints out. And then it goes round here and then Another really nice bridge. I love these bridges like this. I think it's so cool. See the trains run underneath the bridges. So then, yeah, let's go. We fly up here. Another bridge up here, and again, spent time getting the uh, getting trying to get the pillars equidistant. Um, this one, I gotta say, I'm not like 100% pleased with this. I I probably should have spent a bit more time and leveled this off on this side so that the, the bridge was kind of more level. It's a bit lopsided, but ah, uh, yeah, I mean, otherwise I'd be here forever. Um, so, yeah, then we go up here and we end up in Ashby. And Ashby's a bit up and down. So, look at this. The roads are all over the place in Ashby. It's a bit of a roller coaster in here, so I kind of had fun trying to get this placed without upsetting the roads too much. And I ended up finding that, if, like, if I put this in here and I put a large one in here, and I was I was trying to get the the depot alongside it, and it just kind of didn't work. And eventually, I kind of found this spot here where I could put it in, and it didn't make the road too horrible. The roads are starting to busy up now. Where are we up to? 1908. Yeah, time is rolling on. Okay, so um, so that's that. So, have we got any buses running around? Oh, yeah, we've had one going out, one coming in. Let's see, how many passengers you got? Zero. He's probably, this is probably like his first stop. How many people we got waiting? We got four people waiting, so that's going to work. All righty, let's have a look. Profits, what? My God, look, we're up to forty-two million. I've only been running it on slow. Just about to go into the next year. Let's have a look at the profits. So, oh my God, we're, we're already making like a hundred thousand on these lines. Look at the passengers. We're cranking out the passengers. Awesome, freaking source. That's worked out better than I thought. All right, so what are we, what are we making? Yeah, 19... Uh, we didn't buy any new vehicles, so yeah, we're going to be around about 20 million this year. So that's working out really nicely. We've pretty much hooked everything up. We've only got, like I said, there's only those bridges to put in. So I don't know, I'll, I'll figure out how I'm going to do it. I'm probably going to do the proper bridges. I'll, I'll spend some time and put the put the proper bridges in. Great big bridges. Um, mind you, we haven't got the extra large roads yet. So, um, 
So I might, since we don't have the extra large rows, I might just throw some temporary bridges in. You know, just to... Like that. There you go. So that's, an, that's another one got rid of. So now we've only got three. In fact, if I do the Ashton one, that'll get rid of two. And maybe this is a good way to end the episode. So now would you go, I don't think this will I don't think that will go in. But maybe if I delete that. Uh would you go in now? Raise you up a bit. Turn you into a nice green one. There we go. Boom, that's that in. That should have got rid of two. Uh, this is Ashton, isn't it? Yeah, that should that should link uh Ashton with Sedberg. That's linked. That's Oh, I haven't done this bit. That's why. Um, nah, this is not going to do nice things here, I don't think. Let's see. Let's see. So if we come from about there. See, it's going to... Too much slope. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Do something. Do something. What if I link to it? No, still too much slope. It's the, it's the track that, that's complaining. Um, that's really not a great place. Uh, I could try putting a, I could try putting a bridge in, I suppose. Um, a bridge or a tunnel? Bridge. Oh, so the, 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 I, the thing is, I'm not going to faff, I'm not going to faff around. Um, let's try tunnel. You know what? That'll do. That'll do for now. Let's hook you up to there. Hook you up to there. Bosh, otherwise this episode's going to be like five hours long. Um, let's try and do a kind of a similar thing here. So if we we drop that down, yeah, that'll do. And take you back. Let's have that entrance a little bit smoother. So let's run you from there out to there. Yeah, that's not too bad. I can, I can live with that, at least temporarily. And I probably should have hit N and just lowered it a tiny bit. Quite a tempting. No, no, leave it alone. Right, so that's hooked, that's hooked. So yeah, now we've only got Ashton Tavistock, West Ham Tavistock. Where's Tavistock? Tavistock's up here. So, what's missing then? Hmm. Oh, West Ham Tavistock is this bridge. So, we should be able to hook that up. And you, and raise you up. There we go. Boom, that's you. Oh, and that's it. There are no warnings. You know what? I think that is probably a pretty good place to leave this episode. So, my God. Um, yeah, a lot done. A lot done. And, and good results. It's going to be, I, I can't wait to kind of run this on a little bit and, and see just exactly how much these make, because I think they're going to make a fair old amount. Um, right, next episode, we'll be letting all of that run. You know what, I was going to put a passenger route in from Wellington up to um, either Biggleswade or Eastbourne, because this is, this is the only town now that isn't connected by some form of passenger transport. So, um, so it's not growing. So, I, you know what, I'll do that offline. Um... I've shown you all the others. It's only going to be the same kind of thing. So I'll do that offline. Next episode, we're going to start back on the uh, on the master plan. We're going to put in uh, this link. We're going to be uh, bringing the crude oil in, shipping the crude oil up to... Let's turn industry on so that you can see it. Ah, that's not the right one. Um, icons, industry. There we go. We're going to be shipping the oil up to this refinery. The crude oil turning it into oil shipping it back down here then we're going to be bringing planks in so um i'm probably going to use this logs um and ship them out to uh i think probably this one uh ship them back and then either this goods factory or this goods factory over here the planks will be shipped out to there along with the plastic that'll produce the goods and then that'll get shipped out to um one of the terms. I think because we're using oil that's coming into Terminal A, I'll ship the goods back to Terminal A, and then and then we're going to have the issue of like, well, how's that going to work with our distribution network, right? So, am I going to 
try and utilize the same track and just put in bits like this to increase capacity? Or am I gonna stick in extra platforms and double track, or like quad track stuff and who knows? And if you've got opinions on that, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this All About Roads episode. Whew, I'm, I tell you what, I'm exhausted and I'm knackered. Because <laughs> it's, what, what time is it now? It's like uh, eight, 8 o'clock in the morning. I've been working on this for like 10 hours. Oh my lord. Um, right, so yeah, we'll leave it there and I will catch you for the next episode. I must admit, I am loving this. I hope you are too. Peace out.